In this video we'll cover the bridgeman holes, filling the neck holes, putting the neck on, and gluing on veneer. So first we take a brad point drill, 3 16 diameter, and we run it at high speed with low pressure, and we drill through the top and the bridge plate. Uh, you don't want to use a lot of pressure because we don't want to chip out a lot of wood on the back side. And finish that for all six holes. And now you take um, a reamer and we're going to final size the bridge pin holes. Uh, that pin didn't go quite down far enough. So gently ream out some wood. Check it again. We want to see the pin go down uh, almost all the way, but leave enough space in that little slot for a string to go through. So another small ream, and that's just right there. Uh, if you can't get it out, reach in the sound hole and just pop it out from the back side. Continue with all six holes. Go a little bit at a time. You don't, you'd rather take too little and do it twice than too much. We're ready to install our neck. We have a regular washer, a lock washer, and a nut. Set that bolt to about 60 thousandths high with a caliper. And now we're installing a washer, a lock washer, split, and a nut. Okay, now put the guitar on its uh, back and pull the neck into the body so that it's um, square. Set this neck angle jig, and what we want to see is a slight gap between the bottom of that neck angle jig and the bridge, about an eighth of an inch. That's a little small, so you'd adjust the neck angle bolt and first loosen the two bolts and then adjust the neck angle bolt until you have that. Do that before. Now the veneer for the uh, sound hole rosette. Uh, orient the grain parallel to the top grain. Our sound hole is oval and so there's only one orientation that will be right, or two. I'm using super glue on this. You, I'd probably suggest wood glue. Um, again, no accelerator if you use super glue. You want time to reposition it. Your fingers on the inside of the holes, that's a good way to bring it down and keep it aligned. But uh, the super glue goes through the etching, and so this is a good way to get glue on your fingers. You can wipe up the excess. Make sure it's fully seated all the way around. And lastly, we want to cover that little strip. Uh, so take some veneer, uh, trim it to length, and you can um, carve it in any shape you want, and either super glue or uh, wood glue to install that. And with that, we're ready for putting on the strings and other items and doing our final setup.